Get ready to unleash your inner adventurer, because in today's video we're starting a brand new building series in which we will dive into the depths of the Well of Souls alongside Indiana Jones. It's one of those builds that I wanted to make for a long time, but it's not the years, honey, it's the mileage. And by now, I've reached enough of the mileage in mock building that should allow me to make a true plastic masterpiece. So grab your whip and put on your fedora as we breathe life into this iconic location and let's get started right now. What shall we talk about? Well, mister, as it usually is with starting a building series, we need to have a plan first. The choice of location was pretty obvious when I decided to make an Indiana Jones mock, because ever since I was a kid, I loved the idea of discovering ancient Egyptian mysteries, so this location was spot on for that. The giant Anubis statues guarding the Ark of Covenant the hieroglyphs on the walls and of course the mystery of the Ark itself was always something that got me pumped since the first time I saw Indiana on the big screen. And now with the release of the set 77013, I finally got the figures I needed to make it out of bricks. Now I already know that this isn't going to be an easy build because of the complex shape of the walls and the statues that will again push me to go out of my comfort zone but what doesn't a man do for a thrilling adventure, right? So let's start with making the plan and the first draft of the mock. I decided to make it on a 48 by 48 base plate this time, that will for sure be easier to transport to a convention, but also the size is just right for capturing this location. In the center we'll of course have the podium to which Indy descended to, with a lowered level surrounding it and slanted walls all around the chamber. To make the build more accessible, I'm going to make the front walls as low as possible with the higher ones only in the back section and that I think should look good enough. Behind the podium, ending with two massive Anubis statues in the corners, we'll of course have a couple of stairs leading to the platform where the Ark was hidden and all will end with a straight wall decorated with many of the printed and stickered bricks I've been collecting for the last couple of holes. I started making the mentioned statues and made a part of the head but quickly changed my mind and skipped to some regular building as the statues will require a lot more planning and experimenting because, like I said, it's way out of my comfort zone. So first, Let's establish the front of the side aisles and the first slanted wall. A couple of wedges in the front and lots of small plates and tiles should set up a nice flooring pattern all around the build and a mixture of regular and masonry bricks will make up a simple yet not too boring wall texture. And with that established, here comes the most difficult part of making the walls, that is this inverted slanted corner. I'm mostly working with the technique I made up in the front using some clips to make the lower part of the wall, and as for the rest, I think I'll worry about that later. First, let's finish the floor on this side and spread some snakes I own, since they are the main piece of decoration in this mall. Snakes. Why did it have to be snakes? Yeah, Indy, why does it have to be snakes? Especially that I will need a lot of them for the build to look convincing and the ones I would like to use, meaning dark blue and dark green, are not the cheapest at the moment. Let's just hope they'll drop them on the online pick brick store before I end this series because I really wouldn't like to use the cheaper regular green and red ones. But anyway, with that part done, it's time to start experimenting with the upper walls. I made the backside with quite a regular texture slanted on some hinges and made a pretty decent first corner. The problem is that to avoid some gaps I had to put a lot of stress on the parts which isn't ideal but maybe I'll come up with something more sturdy as I continue. Here I'll of course later make the sarcophagus but for now this placeholder will have to do to determine its height and the slant of the walls. And with that done, we can continue going further. 
Ok, I've made the wall, but as expected, it's a bit too fragile for my taste, even with a couple of droid arms and clips holding them together, so I will definitely have to try a different approach. I mean, I might have an idea to make it more sturdy, but I think I will leave that for the next episode, since it will take some experimenting with Technic parts, so now let's leave this be and let's work on the other side with making the same floor pattern and the lower walls. I removed all the placeholder parts from this side and of course covered the area needed with plates, so let's get to some proper work now. we have almost the entire floor nicely covered and the slopes prepared for making the walls so it's time we switch to bricks now. If you're a bit confused on why I made the wall here, don't worry, it's not gonna stay in this place. I just wanted to make it more visible while building and now using the clip system, let's attach it in the proper spot. Ok, that's much better, so now let's take care of the rest of the walls. First, let's attach the clips that will hold them, so that I can plan out where I'll need to put the snot bricks, and then we'll take care of the rest. This part right here may not be perfect, as it leaves micro holes, but I think that shouldn't be a big of a deal, so all is left is making these two segments of the wall. And with that done, let's just put two more rows of plates on the back wall since I totally forgot about that, and this way I'll be almost done with this side. Yeah, almost, because I won't be able to finish it with tiles since I've used up all the ones I had, so that is something I'll have to restock. But speaking of restocking, before I'll show you all of the progress I've made in this episode, let's quickly check out what I've ordered a couple days ago, as I just got a package from Bricklink. So the first thing I had to get were these two sticker sheets from the Well of Souls set to put on the back wall of the chamber. I also got the headgear for the second sarcophagus, a gold owl that may or may not be useful for the golden arch and of course some snakes. Next are some golden pieces for decorations like candles, pistols, claws and cones. Some gold curved wedges for the statues. Gold and tan 1x2 tiles. Golden Nexo shields as well as some different tan tiles. A couple of panels. Cheese slopes. Technic bricks for the wall support I'm planning different modified plates, some regular 2x plates as well as half plates, half tiles, and a few different snot bricks, regular ones and one printed from the adventurer's set. So overall a pretty decent haul that will allow me to move on in the next episode. And now that we have these parts covered and ready for the next episode that I will start recording as soon as this video goes live, let's first see what I was able to make and how it looks all together.
Not only I am happy of how much work I was actually able to make for the launch of this series, but also it looks very promising. Of course, I will have to work on the slanted walls a lot more because I need to make them sturdier and taller, but at least I've got a general idea of how it's going to look. Now, I'm not yet sure what I will make for the next episode, whether it's going to be the center part with the platform and podium for the arc, or maybe the walls, but that's the whole beauty of it. You never know where the adventure takes you. So thank you guys for staying till the end of the video to see how this new series is starting to take shape and if you enjoyed what you have seen here today then as always hit that like button, let me know your thoughts in the comment section below and of course subscribe to the channel if you haven't done that yet. I will see you all in the next video here on Cube Brick and until then just remember to keep it bricking.